this video we'll cover all of the currently used for seam shots. Propulsion intro, crazy box, incinerator and secret panel. It will be split into two parts, one for CM and one for full game. I will leave any commands I use in the description as well as a link to join the speedrunning discord if you have any further questions. So first I will go over some useful stuff that is important to keep in mind and will make learning these seam shots easier. Having a key to drastically lower your sensitivity is basically essential for seam shots. I will leave a bind for it in the description. I recommend binding a key to toggle Fulbright before learning any of these seam shots as it will make certain lineups a lot easier and it will make the seams stand out a lot more. I will leave the command in the description or you can just download srconfigs and bind a key to Fulbright underscore toggle which you should totally do because srconfigs are superior and everyone should be using them. Some of these seam shots have super precise angle lineups, so having a way to see multiple decimal points is more or less necessary. You can of course use the default angle viewing HUD, CL show pause, but I highly recommend using sour hot angles and setting the precision to three decimal places. I will leave all of these commands in the description as well as a link to download SAR in case you don't already have it. Sometimes when you're practicing the seam shots, you can feel like you're aiming perfectly yet nothing is happening. So this is where portal placement debug is useful. It draws a big rectangle over the point where the portal hits, so you can see if you are aiming too far to the left or the right. I will leave a bind to talk this in the description, but do keep in mind that it is not allowed in runs. So the first two steam shots I will go over are allowed in full game and are run viable. The maps these steam shots take place in are Repulsion Intro and Crazy Box. The Repulsion Intro seam shot skips having to activate the first button and get to the catwalk in the outdoor section. It is currently the second fastest way of completing the chamber, but it is way more consistent than the fastest, Cube Clip Senior and Button Stick. So you want to make your way up to this platform in the first room and you want to walk into the corner as far as you can. And next you want to position your crosshair so that it is as close to this surface as it can be without actually touching it. Uh, and then you want to zoom in and lower your sensitivity. You want to look at starboard angles and aim so that the very first value reads negative 19.907. Now you can just shoot a portal through to the second catwalk area, go through your portal and continue the rest of the chamber as normal. The crazy box seam shot is currently the fastest way of completing the chamber, but it is also one of the most precise seam shots we know about due to how far away you are from the seam. If you are doing the seam shot in a full game run, you will load into the chamber after bomb flings, where you will have gotten flung out of an angled portal at the end of the map. What this means is that your game will slowly try to revert your angle to zero, which will make lining up for the seam shot almost impossible. To fix this, you simply have to go through a floor portal and now your aiming will have returned to normal. What you want to do is stand in this corner as far as you can, toggle your full right and aim around here before lowering your sense. So now the coordinates that you should be aiming at are negative 55.552 and 167.380. Once you're aiming here, you want to sh start shooting portals and very slowly moving your mouse up. If you've done it correctly, you'll shoot a portal into the end room, and from here, you can just complete the chamber as normal. Now there is an alternate way to do this seam shot, sometimes called a YOLO shot, which is the way that it is done in CM, but it is incredibly precise and basically just requires you to throw attempts at it until you manage to hit the shot. What you want to do is place your first portal on the floor and aim it around here so that it's in between the two crosses, and you want to stand on top of your portal so that as soon as you hit the seam shot you will fall straight through. Next, you want to zoom in around here and spam portals until you make it through. Now I will toggle portal placement debug just for demonstration purposes so you can see I'm very slowly moving my mouse down and there I hit the shot through. One thing that could be useful to keep in mind is that if you go into options, video, advanced video and turn your anti-aliasing mode to none can potentially make the seam a little easier to see but even with this it really is just about throwing attempts until you get lucky. I wish you the very best of luck if you want to attempt this in CM. You're gonna need it. The next two seam shots I will be going over involve shooting portals out of bounds and as such are not allowed in full game. The maps these seam shots take place in are Secret Panel and Incinerator. There are two different ways to do the Incinerator seam shot. One is a lot easier, but the other is considerably faster and is the one used in the world record for this map in Challenge Mode. I will be going over both of these seam shots in this video. Both of the seam shots skip almost the entirety of this chamber right after you pick up the portal gun. The place that you shoot the oob portal is directly below the CM flags, meaning that you will instantly pop back in bounds once you go through your portal and hit them. For the easier method, you want to grab the portal gun like normal, Shoot a portal on this back wall and go through a portal on this wall to end up in this section of the chamber. Next, you want to position yourself as close to this wall as possible. Crouch and line yourself up so that the center of your crosshair is about in line with the edge of this circular texture. Now you want to crouch, 
and zoom in on this wall and you'll notice that there is a dark texture on the surface around here. This is where you want to line your crosshair up. Next, you want to lower your sensitivity and move your crosshair so that it is very slightly to the left of the seam. Due to how close you are to this seam, it's actually a lot more lenient than any of the other seam shots in this video. You just want to pop a portal through to the oob surface, uncrouch and turn around and just walk through a portal on this wall and it will put you back in bounds at the end of the chamber. Now for the harder method. Firstly, you have to make sure that you don't hit this trigger that starts a cutscene with the portal gun. So you avoid this by just crouching and moving around this wall like this. You don't hit that trigger. Next, what you want to do is line up with this texture on the ground. You can't see it when you're close. You might have to zoom down. Uh, this is around the place where I like to go. And you just walk forward as far as you can and then stop pressing all movement keys. Now you'll notice that this pile of junk actually moves when you uh, hit the trigger, which is what it's supposed to do. But it also pushes you back once you pick the portal gun up, which means that you don't have very much time to hit the seam shot. But one thing that does make this a lot easier, when you're in this position, you can crouch, zoom in, and line the shot up before picking up the portal gun, which allows you to spend longer lining up before you get pushed away. The place you want to aim is around here. You want to be shooting very high, and you want the center dot and the lower dot of your crosshair to ever so slightly be to the left of this seam. And from here, all you want to do is press E to pick up the portal gun, and then shoot a portal through, just like that. Now, what you want to do is turn around to this wall, shoot your portal, and just walk through, and it will put you back in bounds at the end of the chamber. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest seam shots to hit, as it is both position and angle precise, but it saves a good chunk of time over the other method, so it could be worth learning. The secret panel seam shot, also known as waffle shot or Wheatley skip skip, is the fastest way of completing this chamber, saving a crazy amount of time over the inbounds route in challenge mode. This was also one of the first useful seam shots to be found, leading many people to consider this to be the worst map in CM. So for this seam shot, what you want to do is make your way over to this wall here and shoot your portal in the uh, bottom corner. Next, you want to crouch into this portal so that you are almost halfway into it and you are pressed up as far forward as you can go. Now you want to toggle your Fulbright, zoom in around here and lower your sense. Now with your lowered sense, you position your crosshair so that it is ever so slightly to the right of the seam and from here you can just shoot a portal to the oop surface at the end of the map. From here you have two ways of clipping back in bounds, the standard re-entry and the quick re-entry. For the standard re-entry, which is the easier method of clipping back in bounds, all you need to do is walk through your orange portal so you land on this surface and you want to walk forward and reshoot this portal as low as you can. Now all you need to do is shoot the blue portal again while moving forwards and it will push you back in bounds and it will trigger the level transition into the next map. For the PQR or the quick re-entry you want to move over to this portal and enter the bottom of it with a very low speed and as your camera is flipping you want to reshoot your blue portal on this wall and it'll clip you back in bounds which looks like this. So, yeah, that was my video on all of the seam shots that are currently useful in Portal 2. Uh, I hope it was helpful. I hope it was easy to follow and easy to understand and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, of course, check the description for everything I mentioned in the video, uh, as well as joining the Discord if you have any more questions, or you can just leave them in the comments here. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and good luck with your seam shotting.